More than 1.5 million meals to vulnerable people since the start of the lockdown. The organization rescues food that would have ended up in a landfill or uh, this uh, they've they've been doing since last year the non-profit organization has uh, rescued more than 470 tons of food the initiative comes at a pivotal point uh, in the country as the ravages of the second wave of covid-19 are felt across south africa for more on this uh, fantastic initiative i'm joined by the chairperson of uh, the chefs with compassion that's uh, Arnold Tenza. Mr. Senda, thank you very much for your time. What started this initiative? Good morning, Colleen. Thanks for having us on your uh, on your program. Um, well, I think the, it started uh, just after uh, the initial lockdown happened last year in March. Uh, we as chefs had to close down our restaurants. Mm. Um, a lot of us have obviously had stock that was in there and we saw the need, like many other people, of um, the uh, the needy who needed to be fed. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, it started off with one chef. And at, uh, at a certain point by April the 6th, we had formed a uh, an, an NGO. Um, and we started uh, rescuing food. And I think that's our differentiation point from many other uh, organizations who do this type of work, is that we realized that uh, there is just tons and tons of food which is going to the landfill or being incinerated. Yeah. Which would otherwise, uh, you know, which we could use to feed uh, the needy and the vulnerable. Yeah. And it says here, you have managed to save about 470 tons of meals. And this translates to about uh, 1.3 million meals that have been served thus far to needy South Africans. What a fantastic initiative and the response to recipients, Arnold. Yeah, look, I, it's, uh, you know, as you delve deeper, we, we all chefs and, and, and we, 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 we came in contact with a wonderful organization called NOSH, who we call our waste warriors, who go to the, uh, to the market and, 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 and see what they can save for us. Um, which we then take to um, what we call our share house, which is in City D. Mm. Uh, and from there, various chefs and various um, hubs come and collect food, and they transform this into nutritious meals. Mm. Um, but part of that is the food that we cannot rescue. We uh, then call on to community pig farmers to come and collect it, and, and then they take that food and, and feed it to the animals, and thereby, you know, um, it helps the community in a secondary way, we're really trying not to throw anything away um, that can be used. You know, I, I think uh, I saw statistics the other day that uh, in terms of um, how much food is wasted um, every year in South Africa, um, it's like uh, 10 million tons of food, which equates to about 210 kilograms of food, which could be used um, to feed people. Um, and um, it is a, it's, a, it's a great initiative. We had realized really early on that um, it was not just for the initial lockdown period that we we're going to have to, to do this. Um, yeah. and, and that's why we formed an NGO uh, and we have a board and uh, uh, this uh, issue, which has been inherent in South Africa, people going hungry, um, is going to be much longer than the second wave. You know, yeah. until our economy kicks back um, and, and we can get people back to work um, so that they can feed their families themselves, mm. um, we will be there as long as we can. Uh, Arnold, it might seem foolish or even unsympathetic of me to, to ask this question, but I imagine the demand is still very much out there. In fact, it probably is much more right now as we are battling this second wave. I just remember the scenes right at the start of uh, the lockdown in March, and there was, uh, I think, food distribution in Alexandra, or uh, someone had said that food would be distributed in a particular section of the Alexandra Township here in Johannesburg. And the amount of people that came out, despite it having been a lockdown, it just told a story on its own, just how desperate people are uh, for food. How much demand is there? Uh, the, 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 you're 100% correct. The, the, the demand is increasing exponentially. Um, in the second wave, we're going to see a lot more businesses close down. Mm. Um, in terms of um, 
our chefs who, who cook for um, uh, the various uh, charities and, and vulnerable people, many of their businesses have closed down. They cannot afford even to, to help us help other people. Mm. Um, so they, you know, the, the, it is, we, we, we are going to, I suspect by the middle of winter, we, those queues that we saw at the beginning of lockdown will probably be double or triple of, uh, of what we had. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I think we're in for a long run um, in, in terms of, of, of trying to do what we can to feed the needy. Yeah, and where are you operating, or should I say, where are you uh, distributing mainly? Uh, is it all across the country, and what kind of support would you need because of the growing demand? Well, uh, our main base is in Gauteng. Uh, ideally, you know, we would like to be nationally. So, so we do not operate uh, nationally in terms of cooking, but what we do have here are a network of chefs who we, we, we tie into. So if we get a call that there's four tons of uh, uh, sweet potatoes in Cape Town that uh, would otherwise go to waste or be incinerated, we can contact um, uh, chefs and organizations that we know in Cape Town mm. and, and, and sort out the collection there. Um, and uh, yeah, what do we need? The, the list is, is <laughs> as long as my arm and even longer, you know. Uh, yeah. We need um, obviously uh, funds to help us um, pay a starting towards our, our volunteers so they can get to our share house. Mm. Our share house is uh, based uh, right next door to um, City Deep. Yeah. Um, and we are always looking for, for chefs and what we call hubs, community hubs, who have kitchen facilities, who want to join us uh, to help uh, cook uh, food. Um, um, for those that are that, that are in need, so people can go onto our website, drop us a mail, and uh, and let's see what they can do to, to help. And whether it's one day a week or a couple of hours a, 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 a day, we, we we open our arms to anybody who's happy to help the others. Yeah, um, and that website, Arnold, he has a, a chance to uh, give it up. www.chefswithcompassion.com. Mm. dot org. Right. Sorry, chefswithcompassion.org. All right. Dot co. Dot za. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Arnold Tenza, uh, the chair of uh, Chefs with uh, Compassion, uh, talking to us there. And uh, such fantastic work. That's the beauty of uh, South Africans. When people are in need, there's always someone out there uh, open to uh, land a helping hand. So thank you very much to Arnold and uh, a bunch of uh, the chefs that are working with him at this time.